Hey, what's going on everyone? It's King of Soup. I want to welcome you to the first of hopefully many Escape from Tarkov tutorials. In today's tutorial, I want to show you my favorite route and map for doing profitable hatchet runs. Some of you may have different methods or routes that you take, and I would love to hear about them, so be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Before we get started, I just want to clarify that I know many of you absolutely hate hatchlings, and I get it. Nothing is more frustrating than loading into a match and having nothing to kill but hatchlings and scabs, but we'll leave that discussion for another video. Now let's get into my favorite hatchet route. When I'm doing hatchet runs, I personally like to do them quickly and efficiently. Right now, I believe the best place to do that is the woods map, and here's why. The time between spawning in and looting is super fast with my method on the woods map. In my opinion, for a hatchet run to be worth it, it needs to be profitable and quick. The woods map has a spot called Ritual Spawn that is a somewhat creepy looking circle that is located very close to the house spawn. This Ritual Spawn shares loot tables with the marked room. It can spawn all kinds of rare loot like a documents case, key bar, DVL, SV-98 snipers, ASVAL, and many other not so rare weapons. The lower tier weapons actually spawn with a loaded magazine. Sometimes a document case even spawns filled with keys. I've even heard rumors of people finding their factory key in the documents case. The best part of this whole method is that you don't need a key to loot the ritual spawn like you do to enter the marked room. In order to do this route, you first need to snag the woods map from Therapist. This map can be purchased at level 1 reputation for a little over 10,000 rubles, and it allows you to choose your spawn point. This route can definitely be done without the map, but with the map you are guaranteed to spawn at the house spawn. Alright, it's time for a raid. Place your map in your secure container and head to the woods and choose the house spawn. Feel free to ensure your map just in case you need to drop it to fit some more rare loot. Now when you spawn in, you have a chance to spawn in several locations. Regardless of where you spawn, your first goal is to reach here. This is Ritual Spawn. On your way, keep an eye out for other players that are going to spawn, and also the scabs that spawn near the checkpoint here, and also at the attachment cabin. Your route to Ritual Spawn is going to differ a little bit depending on where you spawn, but either way you need to keep an eye out for other players and scavs. After you loot Ritual Spawn, head south to the checkpoint where there is a set of filing cabinets filled with possible keys and other needed loot, an ammo crate with a possible weapon spawn, and a medical bag in the back of the truck that almost always has a decent amount of meds for quests or just for you to use. I usually throw some medication on my hotbar just in case I'm injured on my way to extract. On the other side of the ritual spawn to the north is a campsite with a medical bag and also a USB flash drive spawn, which you will need for a skier quest. In fact, you need two of these USB flash drives. I always snag them and use them for trades for other loot I need. There's a link in the description for my preferred trading page. Once I've finished looting ritual, checkpoint, and the campsite, I'm usually full and it's time to escape. But this is entirely up to you. Sometimes if I get a loaded weapon from one of the loot zones, or the loot isn't epic enough, I will make my way into the lumber yard for more loot from the cabins or even some scav kills, but not always. There are definitely many other ways to do hatchet runs, and I plan to show you some more of my favorites in future videos. I have a feeling the updated shoreline may trump my woods runs once I find some more keys. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if there's anything I covered that you did not understand, or if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. If this helped you in any way, please leave me a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.